Sometimes you gotta try different shit, bro. You feel like, I wanna do this, but I'm too worried about my family. I wanna live this way, but I don't worry about how they might react to how I live like this, or if I say this, or if I tell them how I really feel, bro. Just be yourself. You be overthinking it, bro. It don't be that deep, bro. Believe it or not, a motherfucker will fuck with you more harder for you being yourself than you trying to portray this certain image. You trying to act like this dude because you think that's what's cool. Or you think, oh, that's how you get girls because you got to say it this way. Stop watching them videos when they be like, oh, this how you text a girl. Text that girl how you want to text that girl. If you feel like that's what you want to say, then say it, bro. She might like you even more, bro, because you going based on what he said, bro. That worked for him. You are not him. Bro, you himothy, but you not him. You yourself, bro. Don't be texting that nigga like, oh, yeah, I'm going to be aggressive and passive aggressive. Or I'm going to be submissive because they told me to be submissive because that's how you get a man. No. Be yourself, bro. A lot of niggas like girls for them just being they self. A lot of like me, bro, I like a natural girl, bro. I don't like no aggressive ass girl. I don't like no girl who over submissive. That's a red flag. If the girl too nice, like she extra nice, or like every time I talk to her, like it's some type of random story. She feel like she got to be interested, so now she making up last. The, I don't like that shit. That shit is just a turn off to me, bro. Be yourself. You feel me? And I can tell you not being yourself. You feel me? Just be yourself, bro. Stop trying to be other people. Stop trying to get this car because everybody else got it, bro. Enjoy your car, bro. I had a dream last night. You feel me? Like Martin Luther King. I had a dream. Well, folks in the grade, look. Hit me, though. Come out. Bro, I had a dream last night. And in the dream, I was talking to this girl. She was like, yeah, you look good as shit. Like, I fuck with you. But it's just your car. I'm like, I'm like damn, where the fuck that come from? That come from my thoughts, bro. I had ne- I had I be having negative thoughts and shit in my head in the back of my head I'm like damn bro I can't pull no bitches with my car. So now the negative it's it, the negative thoughts so deep I'm dreaming about the shit. It hit different when you start dreaming about the shit. You feel me? Like you thinking about it, bro. That has in your dreams. And you know what they say about that. Once you start thinking about shit, it comes to reality, bro. It's coming into reality, bro. I'm not just thinking about the shit. That has in my dreams. Now it's going to start coming into reality. Now I'm watching TV and I'm seeing shit that I was thinking about. And I'm like, damn, it's really relating to me, though. Everything be happening for a reason. They always be talking about how the universe be talking to you through numbers and shit. The universe talks to you through numbers, through life, through TV, to situations, from what you do. Everything happened for a reason, bro. Every job that you done ever had, bro. It happened from what the fuck that happened in your past, bro. Your past and your present leads to your future. So just live in the moment, bro. If you too worried about, oh, man, I don't want to do it, bro. I can't do it, bro. I don't know if I'm... I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, bro. Because they don't want me to do that, but I want to do it, bro. Do it, bro. Do what's best for you, bro. You think these motherfuckers out here living for other people, bro? No, the most richest people... Is happy and successful without their family, bro. They didn't do what they family wanted, bro. You know how many motherfuckers judge you, bro? You get judged for your sexuality. You get judged for your race. You get judged for how you talk. You get judged for how you dress. You get judged. Bitch won't even talk to you because you got on Nikes and she got on Balenciagas. Like, come on, let's really talk about it, bro. That's some inner work. That's some shit they got to work on in the inside, bro. That has nothing to do with you, bro. If these Nikes is what you can afford, bro, wear them Nikes every day, bro. Do you. Make that shit look good, bro. The the man, the clothes don't make the man. The man make the clothes, bro. You make clothes, bro. Everything you got on could cost a dollar, nigga. But that shit look raw as hell. That shit make you look rich, cause you made it make you look rich, nigga. You could have the cheapest cologne, bro. But you but you put that bitch on so good, motherfuckers be like, damn, what you got on? Shit, I bought this shit from Family Dollar. I got this cologne from Foreman Mills. I went to Ross and got this clone. They won't even know how much you paid for it. Because you make the shit look good. Make your life look good. Pick up the shit. Pick up the pieces that you got, bro. It's like Uno, bro. You got these certain cards, bro. You looking at the cards like, bro, he got a draw four and I got a draw two. Nigga, well, use your draw two 
to get you another draw two to make that a draw four. Now guess what you got? The same thing he got since you so worried about what another nigga got instead of taking your cards and making a whole new deck. And then take that deck and make a bigger deck. Make a more bigger deck. Then the deck just gets so big. Now nigga, you just that nigga, bro. You just that girl. Because you done made your cards bigger than what they was. You done made your cards look way bigger than what they was. That go, goes back to what I originally said, bro. The clothes don't make the man. The man make the clothes. The purse don't make the woman. The woman make the purse. Her purse could be $10. But she wearing that bitch so good. That bitch look like it's a $1,000 purse. Don't put my purse on the ground, baby. That's bad luck. Come on, let's really talk about it. Hear me, though? Is you really hearing me, though? Come on. I need you to listen. Listen. Everything I'm telling you, bro, is from experience, bro. I don't tell y'all niggas fabricated, made up shit, bro. This is what I be thinking about on a daily basis. I give you niggas real downloads. I give you, I give you people real deal downloads, bro. A download is something you think about, bro, and it just, put, it's like a fucking upload, bro. It's like when you, when you on a computer, you put the files together, you put all the files together. The files is your thoughts. You put your thoughts together and you finally upload it. As the upload gets to 100%, you can download it now. Because you got the download. All your thoughts that came together, you didn't figure this shit out. Now trying to put it all together to make it 100%. Then when you get to 100%, it's done. You like, damn. So that's why. So that's why when you be doing this, this why that be happening. So that's why when they be moving like that, that's why they be moving like that. It's a download, bro. You gotta use them downloads wisely, bro. And maneuver through life. That's the universe trying to help you, bro. That's the universe talking to you, bro. They don't just talk to you through angel numbers, bro. They don't just talk to you through angel numbers, bro. They don't just communicate you, communicate with you through numbers, bro. They communicate with you through verbally, physically, emotionally. You wonder why you said all of a sudden, bro. You can't even go to sleep tonight. They don't want you to go to sleep tonight. It's happening for a reason. They want you to stay up all night. Because guess what? You stayed up all damn night, bro. You just wake up. You woke up. Oh, shit. Somebody knocked on my door. Oh, they give me a letter. Damn, if I was asleep, though, I would never get this letter. Shit happened for a reason, bro. Be off, go. Bag back, man. Uh, that's what I wanted to tell y'all, bro. You gotta, like, bro, stop living for other people, bro. You gotta live for yourself, bro. You that man, you that woman, you a king, you a queen. Yeah. Yeah, bro, you gotta stop, bro. Live for yourself, bro. Like, you you not ugly, bro. Nobody out here is ugly. You like, damn, yesterday is. I just see the ugly nigga yesterday. No, bro. That's what you think, bro. Somebody can right now can think your ass ugly as shit. You think you the finest shit out here, bro. Niggas think you ugly, fo. They don't even you feel me like. Everybody is attractive to somebody, bro. <laughs> you are worried like, damn, bro. Like, damn. That nigga married, bro. I ain't got nobody, bro. You not meant to have nobody right now, bro. Your relationship is at a set time, bro. This shit is a book, bro. But you can make the book up. You could fuck around and erase the whole book. Start over. You feel me? That new life, new chapter, bro. That shit is a real deal thing, bro. This shit is analogy, bro. Life is analogy, bro. Everything be everything be a certain way for some reason, bro. Everything can relate to each other, bro. Life is like a synonym, bro. You feel me? And y'all might think I'm yapping, bro. Not yapping, bro. Not yapping, bro. I'm really speaking that shit, bro. Like, niggas gotta start realizing, bro. You gotta live for you, bro. Sometimes you gotta go outside and do new shit, bro. You can't keep doing the same shit, bro. You feel like your life is stagnant. You feel like you not moving. You feel like you just been in the same place for months, bro. Because you not doing nothing different. You not working towards something. For something could be different. Do some shit, bro. You, you feel like you watch TV all day and eat food all day. Go your ass outside. Go to the gym, nigga. And if you don't want to go to the gym because you, cause you got anti-social shit going on, bro. Make you a gym, nigga. This shit is not cap. This shit is not cap. I was trying to show y'all my gym. But y'all, that mean, that mean the universe... Probably don't want y'all to see my gym. 
they probably like, nah, don't show that shit, nigga. You feel me? They probably, I don't know why, but the universe did that for a reason. Prime example, right there in y'all face. I'm out, bro. I told you we consistent, bro. I wouldn't go drop a video today. I wasn't, bro. But I, but I made a promise to y'all niggas to show y'all what consistency is. I'm going to be consistent, my nigga. We gone. Second day out of 30. Let's get it.